This is the solution to written homework 79. Okay, so as a reminder, all geometric sequences can be expressed as a n is some a multiplied by some r to exponent n minus 1. So we need to figure out a. Uh, a is always the first term in the sequence. So that's easy enough. It's just this first term. So a is 3. And then r is the ratio of successive terms. So that would be 15 over 3, which is the same as 75 over 15, which is the same as 375 over 75. Those are all the same. And if we had more terms, they'd still be the same. Uh, and that common ratio is 5. So as a result of that, the formula for this geometric sequence is 3 multiplied by 5 to n minus 1. And then a brief check is the first, if you plug in n is 1, that'd be 5 to 0, so that'd be 3, yes. Uh, if you plugged in n is 2, that would be 5 to 1, so 3 times 5 is 15, yes. So this, this is the ratio. of successive terms. Like uh, A6 over A5. Okay, so for part B, <coughs> Okay, so then uh, the hint gives it all away. So uh, A8 divided by A3 on the one hand, because of what we're given, is 512 divided by 16 and 512 divided by 16 is 32. And on the other hand, A8 divided by A3, well that's A multiplied by R to exponent 7, divided by A multiplied by R to exponent 2, canceling the A's and canceling the R's, this is R to 5. Therefore, uh, since A8 divided by A3 is 32 and also that, we have that R to 5 is 32, and there's only one solution to that equation, that's R is 2. <coughs> so as a result of that, we know that on the one hand, a3 is 16, and on the other hand, A3 must be equal to some A multiplied by 2 squared. That's telling us that 16 must be equal to A multiplied by 4. So A must be 4. And as a result, we now know the formula that An is 4 multiplied by 2 to exponent n minus 1. 